is happening guys it is friday and we are at the hack and pack shop and i have a video for you we're gonna think outside of the box pisser style now this is what we got well i'm gonna tell you about it first and i'm gonna show you shit we have ourselves a 2000 dodge neon that we're putting a door on okay there's the door right there it took a little biferoni so it's got some little magnetic paw prints on it shit how pretty so this is the deal new door okay I just put like four coats of base coat on it now this is the deal look at the color match to the fender okay I blended the back door this video is about blending and color matching okay I started to blend into the back door I had a little couple little spots back here I just decided to fix for because I'm a nice guy like that but I papered off this fender so I can make this video for you guys obviously you see even if this fender was clear coated now I'm gonna take a little spit put on my finger wipe it on the fender watch that's what it would look like if it was clear coated definitely no go okay no go the shit's not gonna match now you look at the fender it's scuffed the front bumper is scuffed see the big color difference bam bam and then bam that is the same as that or damn near it this would actually be able to blend into that okay but this is the deal i go blending this door into this fender into the bumper everything will look good and then it's not going to match the hood that's when you say oh shit okay pretty much layman's terms oh shit standing back here you guys can see door fender bumper the bumper and the door are close to the same freaking color. The fender, oh shit, checkerboard, all right? And this is the factory color. I don't know what they call this. It's some kind of orange, red, red shit, okay? And then we have a little bit of blend area back here. We'll get back into that in a minute. So, this video is going to be about blending and color tinting pisser style, redneck style. Without no mixing system like a lot of you big boys have to play with. I don't have that here. We're at the hack and pack shop. Redneck automobile repair and shit. Okay? For you guys at home, this song bitch is for you. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a little bench over here near the car somewhere. I'm going to make a makeshift bench. And I'm going to grab some paints. And we're going to grab that door. And we're going to start screwing with shit. We're going to turn this color into a blendable, matchable color. Son of a bitch. This is going to get interesting. Let the chemistry begin. Okay, you guys ready for Pisser Color Making 101? This right here is the factory color for this neon. So we're going to do a little dab here. Bam! See how freaking dark that is? Now this is what I got here. I have some, uh, this is sunburst orange. You guys remember a while back I did a Cadillac. Um, and the, the color is sunburst orange. It's a GM color. Bam! See how much closer that orange is than the freaking red? Let me see here. We get you guys zoomed. Zoom? All right, I don't know, because it'll get grainy if I zoom. But this sunburst orange is damn near freaking dead nuts to this freaking uh, whatever the hell this color is all right hopefully you guys can see this color dabbing it's just like being in kindergarten playing with our colors okay and if it shows you the difference we're gonna peel this piece of tape off of here and you guys can see the difference let me just check to make sure you can see the difference you can see the difference huge okay now I'm going to take the sunburst orange, I'm going to put my finger in it, play a little dippy dip, and I'm going to do some dabbing right here. Nice and thick. Obviously, you see it's covering the tape. Okay? And now we're going to take and pull the tape off it. Some fetch. All right? There's barely any color difference. All right? I got you guys kind of tied down in this tripod, sort of weird. Here, we'll do a zoom. Zoom. 
All right, not too far off. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of this sunburst orange. Let me grab a mixing stick. Some bitch. And I'm going to freaking do a little stir stir here. And I'm not going to spray just the sunburst orange on it because I know it's not going to be a dead much dead nut match. And also, the bottom of this neon um, is a little darker than the top. Sun fade, custom paint. I don't know what the hell's up with it, but it's definitely a freaking shit storm. Splattering shit all over this hood. So I'm going to take some of this and we're going to put it right in there. Okay? I'm going to turn the stick around. I'm going to stir some of this. I'm going to put a little bit of this. Not a lot in there. We're going to stir it up. And I think I'm out of paint in the gun, which will be perfect. And we're going to do a little spray spot on this door. All right, I'm going to take our little mixture here, do a little dab dab. Just like that. We're going to pull this. So, bitch. Okay, and depending on what angle you look at it, of course, where I just did this dab here, it looks darker until it dries. The sunburst orange is starting to dry, and it almost looks like a dead nuts match. But I don't think it's really going to be, okay? So it's going to take a little finessing with the blending and things like that. So let me put a little paint in the gun. We're going to do a little test spot. We're actually going to um, paper off this door. Turn, you guys. All right? Some bitch. I know you're a little crooked. Deal with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tape off that fender, and we're going to just do a little test spot on this door and see how close it looks to um, the fender. So I'm going to paper it, spray the door, unpaper it, and take a look at the fender. All right. All right. Obviously, you can't paper it. So we're just going to kind of just sort of blend out into this door a little bit. We're just going to see how close this is now. Obviously, the, the orange is lighting it up, okay? I'm going now you see the difference on the bumper how the bumper looks a lot darker than the fender the door is a little bit darker now than the fender okay so is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this paint and I'm just gonna kind of blend the bumper and the fender together not a lot I'm just gonna kind of blend it in Something like that. That gives us a little bit of an idea of what we're dealing with. Obviously, the bumper looks still darker than the fender, but on the camera, it looks like what I just painted is darker. But now we're going to let this stuff dry for about five, six minutes so the shine goes away. Okay? And then we're going to continue. Okay. So, you guys still see right here where the door is darker than the fender. Some of that reason is because this is scuffed up, clean metal, no new paint on it. Obviously, you put paint on it, lick your finger, run it down it, like that. That's a pretty damn good match right there. I'm almost thinking to not even mess with it anymore. That little bit of dibbling and dabbling I just did, just bam, freaking just pulled it out of my ass, came up with that match, okay? You seen where I blended the fender and the bumper together? Looks pretty damn good. You don't see any transition right here. 
but you do from here to here because I did not blend this. So what I'm going to do next, I'm not, going to, I'm not messing with that color, guys, is what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn you here. Whoop. There we go. I know this camera is shitting the bed. I have a new camera, guys. I just don't want to get it dirty yet. Son of a bitch. Um, yeah, it looks kind of dark. Son of a bitch. Let me see if I can move you here. Uh, all right. Are we zooming? We're not zooming. Okay. But it's what, what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to basically now spray the whole side of the car, okay? But up here I have no new paint. I'm leaving that because the hood and the top of the fender match as is. So there's no sense in messing with any of that. Up here, there's no reason to put paint up here. Because this matches this. This matches the roof, okay? Basically, I have a little bit of new color here. We just got to kind of blend and blend it into the bumper because I wasn't sure what I was getting into with this thing. So I just prepped it, said screw it, I'm painting the whole side of the car. Okay, and then I'm doing the front bumper is kind of like a, hey, I'm a nice guy type of shit. Okay? So, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the gun, well, you're going to watch me, and I'm just going to freaking spray the whole side of the car up here, obviously, because this door was silver. Okay? So I have to paint up here the top of these doors, but I'm going to try as much as possible to keep that right here where the back window is. Bam. So, I mean, we are going to have uh, new paint versus old paint right here. This is going to be the only, um, what should I say, panel to panel where there's no blend. Okay, there's not going to be a blend, color blend between here and here. All right? There is going to be color blend back here. There's no sense in putting the paint way up here on, on the top by this trunk. And there's no sense in putting any paint up here on the top of the fender, only where we need to to kind of get that little bit of a color blend in right here, this little transition. Right here is the hood, right where this antenna is, the hood starts. So I have this little bit here to play with before my paint actually meets this paint. We're going to clear it all and that's going to change the color as it is. Hopefully you guys just seen what I just did. Hang on, let me just look here. Okay, yeah, you pretty much did. Alright, son of a bitch. So, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the tack cloth now, I'm going to wipe this son of a bitch down, and then we're just going to use the paint that I've already made Okay, and we're just going to shoot down the whole side of this car. I just hope I have enough paint in this gun. I don't. Shit. Alright, so now, guess what? This is the only thing that sucks about doing this shit. We're going to go back here. Boop. There we go. We used more sunburst orange than we used um, the factory color. The factory color for this car is PE5. They call it Salsa Red Pearl. The code that we're using on the car or we're using for our tint color is 913L at Sunburst Orange at the GM color. So Dodge color, GM color. And they're going to make love. And they're going to make some faded ass neon color. Because that's just how we roll. So we're going to put about mm, that much there. And how much of this do we put in here? Some bitch. Uh, probably about that much. I'm going to stir the shit around. We still have some uh, Shit on this door. Some bitch. Do a little dabby dab. Right there. Boom, 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 boom. All right. We're just gonna let that dry. I think that's about where we're going with this. Okay, you guys just see I'm just pulling this out of my ass. Guys, I know it looks unprofessional. You guys that freaking use mixing systems all day long. Kind of know where I'm at here, but you guys have tints. You guys have variances. To this color, there's probably 10 different variances to this. There's lighter than color chip, redder than color chip, bluer to color chip, darker to color chip, yellower than color chip, more metallic, less metallic. Been there, done that. I ran a DuPont mixing system for years, okay? But I don't have that luxury. I don't have $15,000, $20,000 to set up a freaking mixing machine to buy all the tints. So, we do it flying out the seat of our ass, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and load up the gun. I'm gonna tack cloth the side of this car. You guys are gonna watch it get done. And then we're gonna check it and see how good I did. Cause, as you guys know, we don't hide shit here. Some bitch. We show it. All right, let's do this shit. I'm not wearing my mask so I can talk to you. I know you guys are like, where's your mask here? Well, I'm talking to you. All right. Unfortunately, so I gotta suck this shit in. Wipe out her pattern a little bit. There we go. 
I'm putting the pan kind of dry. into the roof a little bit, okay? Just trying to blend our new door into the old door. Our new door into the old fender. I'm just powdering this on here. Not hammering it yet. So I just want to keep an eye on shit. Alright. Let's see what you guys see. You guys see a little bit of darkness, but I think you can get the idea. I know the lighting in here, guys, just freaking sucks. But, you see where we're going? Everything's kind of blending in. Okay, is what I'm worried about, though, is my shit maybe being a little bit too orange. Okay? But as I'm going to do now, I'm, I'm going to um, let this sit for a minute. I'm going to crank up the pressure, put this paint on a little bit wetter, and see what happens. If you go with lower pressure, these colors tend to be a little bit darker. You go with a higher pressure, the colors seem to be a little bit lighter. So now we've got to kind of screw around with the pressure because the, the pressure affects the metallics, okay? Spraying silver, they say, oh, 42 PSI at 68 degrees, you know, all right, whatever. They don't freaking know shit. They don't do this every day, they just make this shit. Us guys that do this every day know what the hell we got to do. You got to do it by eye, okay? It, it's just how it is. And if any of you guys want to argue, go ahead and argue. But I'm used to doing this shit caveman style, and 99.9% .9 of my customers is 100% freaking satisfaction. The other 0.1%, we fix it. Son of a bitch. So we're going to let this sit up a minute. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to play with the pressure, see if it changes anything. And then we're going to go ahead and clear this cocksucker. Son of a bitch. All right, let's do this. Now we'll take a look and see what it looks like when it's actually dry. And then is what I might do is uh, I got to look around by that back sail panel right there, right here. Because it's looking a little oranger here than it is here. All right, I know it's a 2000 neon, but I like the challenge, guys. Okay, I like the challenge. It just looks like there's a little bit of color transition here, but it might just be because my shit's new, shiny here, and this is kind of old. Or it could be because the pressure's turned up, there's more metallic, the metallics are a little bit taller when it goes on drier. That's a trick too, okay? Like some of those old, um, like some of the real metallic-y reds, DuPont actually says, um, put the paint on lighter because it builds faster. It actually builds up and covers faster than pouring it on, trying to get a gloss out of base coat, which is not what you're looking for, okay? Um, but powder it on and the metallics, they kind of build up so much where it actually covers the color better. It covers the panel, okay? Um, and that could be what's going on because it's wet here, it's shiny here, and here it's kind of light. That could be actually overspray from what I just put on there, changing the metallics, which will show a blend. And that's what happens with silvers. 
Okay, you stop spraying here with silver, there's a dark spot right here. That is because the overspray from your metallics is sitting right there. That's why it's very important to tack cloth between coats on silver and like beige. Okay, just trying to show you guys some shit, tell you some shit, show you how to do it redneck style, but semi do it right. You guys get where I'm going, that's why you watch me, you understand. All right, so we're gonna let this sit, we're gonna let it dry for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna take a good look at it, and then I think we might go ahead, we might put one more coat on it, and clear this bastard. Some bitch. Okay guys, while this is drying, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little bit of this freaking paper here. We're just gonna pull this off of here. Just kind of curious here. Curiosity kills the son of a bitch and cat. Let's see how close my shit is, because we're dead panel, dead panel, to factory shit. All right, the factory shit does look a little teeny bit oranger. But don't forget, when we clear this, it's going to enhance it. Okay, and don't forget, my shit is dull. Okay? But still, for a freaking pulling it out of the freaking hair of your ass freaking color match, that's pretty good. And this is the only place that there's going to be any kind of a color difference is the tops of these doors and the roof. That's it. Okay? And it depends on the angle you look. Okay? I think that's pretty damn good. I mean, it's butt painted there, guys. That's butt painted with the wrong freaking color. That's a pisser made color. Okay? I think it's going to fly. Now, so what we're going to do, this is drying. I got the heat kind of kicking on it a little bit here. Okay, look, place is a mess. I haven't swept the floor. I haven't done shit. All right? We're going to let this dry. Obviously, it's getting dull now. And we're going to go ahead and start pounding the shit out of this thing with some clear. Okay? Here, obviously, look at the paper. There is no color here, guys. It's all just going to be clear. Little teeny bit right there. This is all going to be clear. So there's not going to be any issue of my shit not matching here. The other reason why it would not match is because this is new and shiny. And this is the old and dull. But this should buff up to match this. When you clear coat, it enhances the color. That's what happens. If I took this dull hood and just cleared it, it would make a huge difference. Okay? But other than that, there is no place other than up there where this paint might not be 100%. It's going to match the wood. Okay? My shit's going to be shinier again than what's on here. That, that happens. When you clear coat, it's shinier. Period. End. Okay? We're, we're trying to match a finish that's been put on who knows how many years ago. And I don't even believe it's the factory finish. Okay? And back here, same deal. You see how the, the transition is here where it's dark here, where I have my color, and then it kind of fades away into nothing. Back window, there's very little. Here, to the trunk, there's absolutely nothing, okay? To the back bumper, we're doing a little blendy blend right here, all right, because there's just a couple little rust bubbles I just kind of quick half-ass fixed them for, at least so I wasn't painting over freaking bubbly shit, all right? If you look at the inside of the car and the color here, I'm gonna show you. I mean, you see how faded and freaking just nasty that is. Now look at the difference from that to that, okay? That's your factory color. This is whatever the hell it is color, okay? I mean, it's huge, guys. It's night and day difference. So if I would have just blended my factory paint, it still wouldn't have matched. There ain't no freaking way. You would have seen the blend. Son of a bitch, I'm losing my freaking half-ass tarp here, okay? I'm gonna have to freaking tape that shit or something. All right, so, again, this is what you gotta do. Sometimes you gotta come up with these tricks and ideas to make something like this happen, okay? You gotta think outside the box, period end. Let's clamp it down and get clear in this back. All right, got the mask on. This clear coat, this is some nasty shit. If anything, whenever you're painting anything, Enamels, single stage urethanes, or clear coat. Wear the son of a bitch. This shit is bad. A lot worse than the base coat. Alright. Let's do this shit. Take up the pressure. Usually I start top, work my way down. It just needs to work for me.
open this bench up a little bit. You know what? Might help I turn on the fucking compressor. Yeah, I forgot to shut the compressor off earlier so I could uh, videotape for you guys in silence. We shut you off for a second. When a compressor builds up, we'll turn you back on. We're down to like 20 something pounds in the compressor. Son of a bitch.
guys, the dust storm has settled. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Obviously, we blended here. Okay, so there's no color difference between the fender, the door, to that door, to that quarter. Because we blended everything, okay? Now that this is cleared, let's take this paper off of here and see what we got, if there's any kind of color difference at all. You just got to be very careful because this stuff is very, very wet. Sound bitch. Okay, right there is factory neon, and right there is pisser. Not bad. If anything, we are a touch dark. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the hood. You gotta be very careful again, because we're dealing with wet shit. And keep in mind, this hood could use some buffing. Alright, so the hood's gonna be duller. Not bad. My shit's darker, but this is dull too. Keep that in mind, okay? If I would have used just the factory color, this shit would have been a freaking shit storm off. Now you look here, my paint actually looks lighter than it does there. It looks darker there, lighter there. Okay, you look here, it looks darker there, lighter there. All right? It's because this, let's lick it. Lick it before you stick it. See what I mean? See I just wetted it right there? Dead nuts, 100% match. Bam! Okay? Back here, it's gonna be the same exact thing. Except the trunk lid's all peeling and shit. The paint just looks nasty. Actually, there's no sense in even doing it because it's gonna look just like the hood. Okay, so I hope you guys learned a little bit of something on this video. Okay, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna upload this song, bitch. And, uh, yeah. So y'all have a goody goody. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Later, guys. Oh, and Sue, you've been officially pisserized. Some bitch.